Spain, Italy. Rome, Venice, Florence and Vatican are among the most visited cities in the world. We are equipped with the camera and excited to be rewarded by this unique country. Do you know which country is the smallest one in the world? Your answer is correct if you said it is Vatican. Vatican lies across the Tiger River. St. Peter's Basilica looks spectacular in the dusk. Not surprisingly, that Vatican is attract thousands of visitors each day from around the world. We are here, a part of at St. Peter's Square, which might offer the best view of the whole square. The city stretches out in all directions. One of the top experiences is St. Peter's Basilica, which was built on the site of racetrack and the spot where St. Peter was supposedly buried. Early pilgrims began visiting this place almost immediately after his death. Encircled by a two-mile border with Italy, Vatican City is an independent city-state that covers just over 100 acres, making one-eighth the size of New York's Central Park. An important aspect of being here is to make sure that you have a tremendous choice of Italian food to bring back as souvenirs. A view of the castle St. Angela and its angels. The most fulfilling part of this journey is visiting Vatican Museum. The museum was founded in early 16th century by Pope Julius II. The museum contained roughly 70,000 works, of which 20,000 are on a display. Our first station was an Egyptian part.
we are at the new wing of the museums. The neoclassical theme of architecture was built by Raphael Stern. The floor here contains pieces of mosaic floors from Roman buildings. <laughs> the Vatican museums have a strict dress code low-cut sleeveless clothing, shorts, mini skirts and hats are not permitted. The well in the center of the courtyard dates from 9th century. Culture of Leakanan and his twin sons demonstrates the crush to death by two great sea serpents. The statue of Apollonius Belvedere Torso inspired Michelangelo. The gallery of maps takes its name from the fourth maps frescoes on the walls which represents Italian regions. Getting into the Vatican Museum is like entering a small airport with long lines and security checks, but it is worth it. We are heading to the room of Sistine Chapel, where video recording is strongly prohibited. But let me confirm it. Gazing up at Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel, arguably the greatest fresco ever painted. The spiritual staircase at the Vatican Museum, designed by Giuseppe Momo in 1932, brings us down. Now guess where the last part of our Italian journey will be.